you bloody won't believe how this Texas couple keep the kink fresh and alive in their marriage. Together seven years, Logan and Daly are just your regular everyday couple. First time I ever met Daly, I had an immediate connection with her. Logan started hosting these events uh, at his nightclub and I started assisting with them. He spent the next two years asking me out. We went on a date, we were sitting at the table and he reached out and he touched my hand and it was like this electricity. I remember going to the bathroom and calling my best friend and being like, I'm going home with this guy. Like, that's what's gonna happen tonight. I'm going home with this guy. Daily, I refer to as my soulmate. I love everything about her. The stakes are higher than usual because there's something unique about this couple. My name is Daily South. I belong with my husband, Logan, I'm the vampire king and queen of Austin. Daily and Logan live their lives day to day or rather night to night as vampires. They've ruled for six years now, running the Austin chapter of the Vampire Society. But they've both identified as vampires for half of their lives. The majority of vampires commonly awaken uh, during puberty. I had my vampiric awakening when I was 15 years old. Being a vampire isn't something that you can just choose. It is something you are born with. It is something that is a part of you. They sleep during the day to avoid the sun. Whenever I am in the sun for long periods of time, uh, first I get a pretty bad headache, um, along with nausea, uh, shaky, kind of tremors. I go into direct sunlight as little as possible. I would say maybe a grand total of an hour a week, if that. Vampires like Logan and Daly have one major need, and it's disturbingly simple. A vampire is someone that, for one reason or another, needs to take in human energy in the form of blood or, or psychic energy or sexual energy to keep themselves healthy. These two have a craving that can only be quenched one way. I drink uh, human blood from a donor once a month. I do it because I have to. The journey to vampirism started in an average high school, in an average neighborhood, in an average city. The first time I ever drank blood, it was actually a really intense experience for me because I remember sitting in my English class and I started to feel this intense thirst that I'd never felt before. And I ran to the first water fountain I could find and I just started gulping down water. I didn't feel any less thirsty. And at that point, you know, I happened to run into one of my friends in the hallway that had been helping me through my awakening. And they said, oh, this is what you're experiencing. Let's go find your donor. So we found my friend and they pulled out a lancet and I drank from them and it was immediately gone. First time I ever consumed blood, uh, it, it was empowering, heightened all of my senses and sensations, and a rush. Logan and Daly don't just need blood in the bedroom, they need new blood in the form of another woman. I don't like the way blood tastes. I find it inconvenient to have to do regularly. I'm someone that needs it, but I'm not a big fan of it. You know, for Logan, it's, it can be very sexual for him. <laughs> but sometimes Logan's appetite is too much for Daly to take. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't handle this. Extreme love. You've never seen love like this before. On WeTV.